Glory be to Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one tree, one God. Every year on the Thursday of the Holy Week, the bishops of our church are reminded of the ministry we have taken. In the midst of several administrative responsibilities, in the midst of the traditional way how our bishops are treated, this is a very strong reminder to each one of us what we are called to. And as people watch this service, as I was referring yesterday, people think in terms of how others should wash. Rarely it is about how we or each one of us fail to do this within our own Christian lives. Because we think this is a ministry because Jesus washed the feet of the disciples. We think that, okay, only the priests or the bishops who place themselves in the apostolic tradition should be doing it. So we can, it's very easy for us to point out the failures of the leaders, especially when they are always in the limelight and their actions are easily visible for us. I'm not making excuses for our failures. But there is also a dimension which is a feet washing ministry by the church as a whole. It is Christ was referring when he did this ministry or when he did this. It was to teach his disciples a lesson. It was not because he found their feet were dirty, they needed a thorough cleaning or scrubbing. Because he did this in the specific context when his disciples started bickering about who is great in the kingdom of God. And many times we also think in terms of this, who is great? And in doing this feet washing, Jesus redefines greatness. It is not merely he just went around and washed the feet of his disciples, referring that I am your teacher, but still I am doing it, do, like, do it like what I have done. But he specifically says, now, the greatness itself is redefined. So in a Christian's life, what we look as great should be redefined. It is not about what the world sees great. It is not about what is the fashion statement I can make with my clothes. It is not about how beautiful or how handsome I am, or how impressive I can speak, but it is about being humble and how I can be of service to the rest of the world. It is not only really about being service to each other within a close community. Sometimes we do that. We have a very narrow definition of community. So we think that Okay, it is okay that we have to do it between ourselves. But as Christians, we are called to do this ministry to the entire creation. Not only, really, I would say it is not only really to the entire humanity. But when the creation itself is groaning, our responsibility is not merely to the human being. Especially in the 21st century, when the creation is suffering in the hands of human beings. 
we have to extend ourselves through this feet washing ministry so we have to think how how, how can i be of help to the creation itself to the nature to the animals and many times we are the victims of our callousness to the nature our callousness to the rest of the creation because we many times as human beings we look at creation the rest of the creation as separate from us we don't see ourselves as part of god's creation of course we have a special role but that special role is not merely to exploit and abuse it is we are not merely using the nature but abuse the nature and since we become so irresponsible in our use and abuse use of nature we also look out look to the rest of the human beings our fellow human beings how we can make use of these people it is always about what is there for me even the doctors started looking at patients as what can i bill and the patients start looking at doctors not as people who do healing ministry themselves this all our entire life has become business transactions even marriage alliances are thought about as business transactions so every human relationship is now valued on the basis of money it is not about how we relate ourselves with rest of the creation and the rest of the creation has got its own value because we see value in others or in the rest of the creation only in terms of what I, what i can get out of it so even in human relationships we we don't mind breaking our relationships whether friendships or oh, it is no more useful for me marriage life becomes weak because we think that it is a burden when we confront a difficulty in a human relationships we find the easy way out okay we'll just get out of the relationship it is not about serving the interests of the others and this is something jesus is reminding us today greatness is not what you have extracted from others it is not what you have accumulated by withholding from others but it is what you have done for others what you have shared with others recently i was reading somewhere rockefeller's accountant was asked a question like when he died how much did he leave referring to his wealth and his accountant responded saying all of it it's a reminder for us whatever we accumulate whatever we gather we leave it behind i'm not saying it in just reference to purposeless of our money in time of wealth at time of our death but it is again as i referred earlier we need a redefinition of what is great what is a pri- what are our priorities in our lives what do we want at the end of our lives or in, the, in our retired lives or in our advanced age if god gives us life enough for that when we look back what should we want us to be known as or what should we be thinking what are the great things i did do we want to think in that how many people i have cheated during my lifetime how many people i have abused in the process or do you want to oh my god god has enabled me to help so many people god i have been instrument in the god in the hands of god to be helpful to different kinds of people and this is what this service is all about it is not merely an act of something what jesus reenactment of what jesus did more than 2000 years ago it is a annual repeated reminder to us 
about our own calling. It is my prayer and wish that as we do this service once again, God will bring his light into our heart and enable us to be a, peop a group of people who are willing to share are willing to care for the rest of the creation. May God bless us all. Thank you.